A big welcome to our seniors and your families that are joining us here tonight for the 2020 Senior Awards. What a year and what a class. You are resilient and your hard work has definitely not gone unnoticed and that is why we are here tonight. This year has changed all of us, but I am proud to say that this class will go down in history as the one that overcame a global pandemic. That in itself is a major accomplishment, and tonight we will honor you for your hard work as a Northview Viking. Please sit back and enjoy the evening. Without further ado, here is our awesome ASB director, Miss Erica Pusey. Thank you. Hello, Viking faithful. Every year on the Thursday before graduation, our amazing counselors, led by Ms. Teresa Humphreys, organize this amazing Senior Awards evening. However, due to COVID-19, we aren't able to actually meet. But we knew it'd be important to recognize all the seniors receiving specific awards and scholarships. There are several scholarships that are going out this year, and there are also many awards that are being received. Some awards are from the president, awards given to any senior who has maintained a 3.6 GPA or higher for their whole four-year career. Also, there's the Golden State Merit Award that's given to seniors who've shown proficiency in more than six courses. Throughout the course of this presentation, you'll see several scholarships and awards given to over 130 seniors. We are proud of all our seniors, but tonight we wanna to congratulate those over 130 who went that extra special mile to make sure that they stood out amongst their peers. So without further ado, here's this year's 2020 Senior Awards Ceremony.
Hi, I'm Mindy Cruz. And my name is Jesse Cruz. And we're here to announce who the Jesse Cruz Memorial Scholarship recipients are. And to give you a little bit of background uh, about the Jesse Cruz Memorial Scholarship, uh, Jesse's our son. And also, he also has a, a sister uh, named Brianna. Uh, they both went to Northview. Uh, Jesse was a very proud Viking. Uh, he loved his time being at Northview. Um, if you talk about someone that's uh, bled black and gold, that's Jesse. Um, he represented Northview. He loved Northview. And uh, he was a young man that, that always strived to excel in the classroom and anything that he tried to do in life. He really dedicated himself. Uh, sometimes he struggled at it, but he reached out, looked for help, and was able to, to learn from, from people teaching him. He wasn't afraid to learn. Um, he wasn't afraid to be taught. And he also strived to help others, too. That was one of his, his quotes. His, actually, his senior quote was, I want to be remembered as someone that, uh, that was always willing to help out. And he was living that quote. Uh, that's what Jesse lived for, is helping others. Uh, like I said, he was he looked to excel. He always tried to maintain a high GPA. And he did that while dedicating a lot of time to the sport of wrestling, which he was introduced to at, as a freshman at Northview High School. Uh, he was on the wrestling team those four years. Like I said, started as a freshman. Uh, and he was able to achieve his, his goals um, that he set out for himself. Excelling in the classroom, maintaining that high GPA, and also doing well in sports and helping others. Um, as a senior, he was awarded the Male Viking of the Year. Uh, he placed fifth at the California State Wrestling Tournament. So he, he did good. He did good because he had a lot of help, and a lot of that help came from the Northview family. That's why we're, we appreciate them. We love the staff. We love the school and the students that have that continue to come through Northview. Um, we enjoyed reading all of your your, um, your essays, getting to know you a little bit about you, the letters of recommendation from your teachers, your counselors, your coaches. Um, we enjoyed reading them because we saw some of the same qualities uh, in you that Jesse spoke about, the way he, he lived his life. And we want to thank the Northview staff, the Northview family, the community for always supporting us and helping Jesse's, you know, helping us keep Jesse's legacy alive. Um, it, it really means a lot to us. And again, thank you guys. Uh, good luck in your, in your future, in your college. Um, and I'll let Mindy, she's gonna announce who the recipients are. This year's recipients are Ernesto Delgado and Isela Guadalupe Mendez Palacios. Congratulations, guys, and we look forward to seeing you real soon. Yes, congratulations. Thank you.
Greetings, my name is Dave Cruz, and I am president of the Northview High PTA Executive Board and Association for the 2019-2020 school year. I will be announcing the names of this year's 2019-2020 PTA Senior Scholarships for Northview High School. Before I begin, I would like to extend my thanks on behalf of the Executive Board to the following, Covina Valley Unified School District, the Board of Education, Dr. Bursiaga and the, and the Administration, teachers and staff in Northview High School, the members of our association, and the entire Viking family. Thank you for this opportunity to present the scholarships and for all the support you have given to our PTA this year. To all of the seniors who submitted your scholarship applications, we are appreciative for the time that you took to gather the necessary information. Your story that you provided in your essay was very moving and uplifting to hear of your experiences and your plans to reach your goals. You all should be very proud of your accomplishments. We are in, in a very unusual time, and we find ourselves being a part of something that none of us has ever experienced before. We are learning how to navigate through it, and it will change the way we are used to doing things. Keep going forward and forge your path. Create a future that you envision, and always try to do your best. We are proud of you, and your families are proud of you too. I would like to first acknowledge and congratulate our six seniors who received scholarships from the Covina Valley Council PTA. The Council PTA selected six applicants from each of the high schools and they will receive a $500 scholarship. Of those six at Northview High, they are Marlene Espinoza, Carlos Lu, Giselle Garcia Nunez, Diana Rincon Cepeda, Irina Stroud, and Balin Velasco. Next, the following are the recipients of the Northview High PTA Scholarships. They are Isabel Amaya, Charlie Ariano, Jake Brannon, Jacob Castaneda, Emily Escobar, Natalie Fierro, Krista Garcia, Stephen Ortiz Yepes, Renato Santom Santome Guembez, and Gabriela Valdez. Congratulations to all of our senior scholarship recipients, and we wish you all the very best in your future endeavors. Thank you.
The Fred Fryho Memorial Scholarship was founded by the Fryho family almost a decade ago. Fred was a coach here at Northview. He dedicated countless hours to both our softball and baseball programs. All five of Fred's children attended Northview and were active in athletics. This year's Fred Fryho Memorial Scholarship recipients are Giselle Garcia Nunez and James Jimenez. Both represent the qualities that Fred admired in athletes. Congratulations and thank you to the Fryho family for their continued support of our athletes. Each year, the Valley Vista League selects five outstanding student athletes. These athletes are selected not only for their athletic accomplishments, but also for the character they display both on and off the field. This year's recipients are Hi, my name is Henry Salceda. I'm here today to present the 10 finalist uh, recipients for the Northview Education Foundation that recognizes wrestlers at Northview. So, but before I do that, I wanted to thank our, our donors, uh, Lionel Sanchez, David Bonilla, um, Shad Madrigal, runs uh, electrical, Madrigal Electrical, Christina Kelly, Olympic wrestling team member, uh, Paul Viveros, alumni marketing, and Ronnie Valdez, Valdez Landscape Architects. Thank you to all of you who make that possible because if, without their help, we don't have awards. 
Also, I wanted to make sure to thank David Lo uh, Ochoa and Nancy Lopez and all the coaches that do such a great job at bringing up the Cal Grapplers program and the wrestling program. Uh, thank you and heartfelt gratefulness for your time and effort to do that, getting those kids out there as young as five. It's a great program. I encourage you strongly to get your community involved, get your kids involved. I promise you it'll be worth it. Now, without further ado, I want to make sure to make our names known uh, for those folks that have met the award with criteria and, and are going to be awarded their wrestling award this year. They are Brandon Alvarado going to UTI, Joseph Alvarado going to UTI, Alejandro Diaz going to Cal Poly Pomona, Rigo Estrada going to Mount Sac, Colin Hayes going to Mount Sac. Wyatt Lewis going to Colorado School of Mines. Isla Mendez going to Lindenwood or, or uh, Bruton Park. Uh, Robert Pena, UC Riverside. Sage Rene Stanislaus State. And Trevor Tinkler, Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Hello, my name is Joe Melvin. I'm a fourth grade teacher at Cypress Elementary and first vice president of the Covina Unified Education Association. One of my duties as first vice is coordinating the Marion and Parker Reed Scholarship. The original Reed Scholarship was established in 1962 in memory of Marion Reed, a 32 year Covina Valley teacher and principal. Her brother, Parker Reed, selected Covina Unified as custodians of the funds. Parker Reed was a highly decorated World War II veteran, followed by a prestigious appointment as head of the Compensation and Wage Administration in Washington, D.C. After Parker's death in 1977, his widow, Virginia Reed, suggested the award be renamed the Marion and Parker Reed Scholarship. The Marion and Parker Reed Scholarship is a fitting tribute to the Reeds since they were actively involved in the Covina community during its early days. Their presence will be recognized through this award that was designed to assist outstanding Covina students in realizing their goals as educators of future generations. The Marion and Parker Reed Scholarship has grown to an annual award of $4,000 for the top recipient. This year's winner is Belen Velasco of Northview High School. Belen possesses all the ideals and qualities the scholarship demands. Thank you.
Glenda Swigger Memorial Scholarship for Excellence in Journalism was created in 2006. Ms. Swigger taught English at Northview for 37 years. She dedicated 33 of those years to being the advisor to both our yearbook and our then newspaper, The Valhalla. Ms. Swigger spent tireless hours devoted to her students and her colleagues. In 2006, when Ms. Swigger lost her battle with cancer, the faculty and staff at Northview started the Glenda Swigger Memorial Scholarship. The recipients for this year's scholarships are Ms. Boleyn Velasco for her dedication to yearbook and Ms. Emily Escobar for her dedication to Viking Vision. Congratulations, ladies.